In classical physics, gravity is a force of attraction between objects with masses. Since light doesn't have a mass, it is not attracted by gravity. This could be true, but it is incomplete of an answer, because we think of gravity as a curvature of space-time, which does, in fact, affect light. The answer to the question, is light affected by gravity, is apparently both yes and no. Let me explain. Light is affected by gravity, but not directly. It is affected indirectly. Light travels in straight paths in space-time. But what happens when space-time is no longer a straight path? If we have a massive star, it causes space-time to bend around it because of its mass. If light from another star passes near it, it would go in a straight line until it reaches the point where the bent track of space-time exists. The bent track is caused by the massive star. At this point, it would just follow the curve. Here, we can say that gravity from the massive star affected the way the light moves around it, but not the light itself. It actually affected the track the light moves along, and light just had no choice but to follow. Consider this analogy. So suppose you want to build a straight road, but there happens to be a tree in the way. What you would do is build the road with a curve around that tree like this. Now, when a car is moving along that road on it, and gets to here, it has to take the turn and curve around. Can we say that the existence of trees affect the trajectory of moving vehicles? Of course not. But this tree forces the road to be constructed with a curve in it, and the car follows that path. The tree affected the path the car took, indirectly. Similarly, an object with a large mass, and therefore gravitational field around it, makes space-time curve. When light travels through space-time, it is affected by this curve, which is caused by the gravity. This is how light is affected by gravity. It is not a direct effect, similar to the Earth and the Sun in an orbit in classical physics, but as a consequence, as a result of the nature of gravity in space-time. During a solar total eclipse, it is possible to see light from stars that are directly behind the sun. From your point of view, those stars should be blocked by the sun, yet we can see them in this condition, because the trajectory of that light would have shifted and it looks like that star is really here. This phenomenon is called gravitational lensing, and it is one of the ways we have to prove Einstein's general relativity as a theory of gravity. Subscribe to this channel and put a like on this video and make sure to share it. I hope this helps and explains something and I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.